What's up awesome people? It's Aaron here again. It's been a while. I'm getting over the flu. I was hit by a stinking train, it's, it felt like anyways. It really sucked. So if I cough, I apologize, but I'm gonna try to avoid it. I've had cough drops. <coughs> there you go. Cough drops, water, it doesn't matter what it is. It just will not stop. I won't, I can't stop coughing. The worst thing to do is just not talk, but kind of hard to do while doing a video. But anyways, I have been working really hard on this motion graphic system that I am gonna show you like right here, or here, or here, up there, here, there, everywhere. You can put it wherever you want and there's all kinds of stuff you can do with it. It's a really cool system. I worked really hard on it and I wanna do something different than what most people do. A lot of people will give you a whole bunch of graphics and you can choose them in Adobe Premiere in the essential graphics window and you can choose which one you want. I made a whole system that's an all-inclusive template where you can do RGB glitches, you can change the shapes, you can customize the shapes, you can turn the shapes, you can customize the font, just everything. And you can do it all in this one template. So it's really awesome. And I wanna show you guys how to do that. You can uh, get it in the link in the, down in the description below. Uh, there's a free version and there's also paid versions if you wanna help support the channel. The paid version gives you everything that you're gonna see in this video. The free version is going to be a little bit more restricted. You can still do a lot of cool stuff with it, but it's not going to have everything. Or if you prefer to just do one of the shapes, I will also be providing it in multiple versions. So you can just have the polygon template, or you can have the stars, or the lines, or the squares, or the circle. You can buy the individual one, and it'll have all the features for that specific shape. Um, so yeah. With that said, let me show you guys how this works. All right, guys. Once you guys download a template from the store, you wanna go over here and select graphics and select install motion graphics template. Go to where you downloaded your template, select the version of Premiere that you have, hit open. In my case, it already is installed, so I'm gonna hit no here. And then you wanna go up here to graphics to see the essential graphics panel over here and click browse my templates and select the version that you got. Go here and load up here. There it is. As you can tell, it's like it's off the screen. It's it's too big. The reason why that is is because this is actually made for 4K. This footage is 1080p. I did that on purpose because I want to show you guys how to work with 1080p footage as well. You want to go over here to the effects controls, go to scale and adjust it to 50% and you'll be good to go. And I'm also gonna lower it because it's obviously blocking my face here, so we'll go right here. Now let's go back over to, to Essential Graphics over here, and you'll see that you have all these cool settings. You have the size, you have center, left and right for the alignment. I'll get the size back to 100 here. Um, you can adjust the size and position here to offset that gap there that you saw. That's why it's there. Um, but anyways, you can adjust your points, which only works with uh, diamond and star and polygon, as you can see here. So we'll go back to, uh, actually no, let's go back to uh, the polygon and we'll go to four real quick. And I'm gonna actually set the angle to 45 degrees because we're skipping ahead a little bit because I wanna show you the part with the secondary text. As you can see down here, it's it's cut off by the actual shape and it's it's meshing in. So if you go down to secondary text here, you'll see there's a secondary position. I put that here so you can off center that uh, a little bit from the side so it actually can line up and look clean again. That doesn't apply to center, that only applies to left and right because that's the only time that actually happens because the center, everything is in the center. So anyways, let's go back and I'll uh, change this back to uh, center and I'll go to diamonds and stars. We'll tweak that again. That looks actually pretty good. And I'm gonna actually adjust this angle just slightly. There we go. So all right, so once we got that, you can adjust your time, which is how long the clip can be. The animation's maximum time is 20 seconds of the visual text. The animation intro and outro is about a second. So if you do 20, it's about 22 seconds total. Um, you can all go all the way down to one second. So that gives you about three seconds. Probably don't want to do that most of the time because it'd be too fast unless it's like really small text But I have seen clips where people do that. So I gave you guys the option um, So I'm gonna actually adjust this now to about five seconds So it's gonna end at five. So let's go back here a little bit. There it is And let's go back to our text and let's change this to awesome template 
Actually, let's do this. Do -do -do -do. And we'll change the font here to Eraser. That looks good. And the other options for the uh, secondary text is you have the divider, which you can actually turn it off. You also can disable the secondary text completely. You can have just a divider. So you have a lot of options here with that. So let's get the divider and text back on. You can adjust the divider length beyond what its length is. It scales based on the secondary text and you can also adjust its width. So you have a little bit of options here too. And like I said earlier, the position for left and right um, alignment. So we'll go ahead and add some secondary text here. There's so many options because I made a lot. And there that is. And we'll change this font to, let's say, hmm, corporate goth gothic looks pretty cool. There we go. And let's go down here to colors and we'll change the shape color to, let's say like a purplish color. Like a cream purple, I guess. Primary text will leave white, but you can change it to whatever you want. There's a reason why I'm leaving it white here because I want to show you guys RGB glitch. White tends to work really good with the glitch. Other colors will as well, but I found that if you do white, it works a lot better in general just because it, it meshes all the colors more. Um, but a lot of colors will work, which you'll see because I'm adding some here. So we're going to change the, um, the line color here to, let's see, what's, what's orange going to look like? Would that look pretty cool? That looks pretty cool. And we'll change the text here. See, I have to go something with purple. Let's just do like a light pink. There we go. So that looks pretty cool, don't it? So now let's get into the RGB glitch settings here. And as you guys saw over here, the glitch I showed in the intro had like three different versions I had. And you can do more than that. But as you can see in the um, glitch settings, you have RGB, compression, and tearing. The very top one had RGB, compression, and tearing all on different settings. The second one was just showcasing compression and the third one was showcasing just tearing. So you can see a little bit of how they all work. So let's go in this and see. Yeah, there we go. See, now you can see how the RGB is like randomly going crazy. And compression, I'll have to probably move somewhere just so, there we go. Compression is pulling it apart and then tearing is ripping it uh, left and right. So now let me find a spot where you can see it actually doing it. That right there looks like it's doing it. Yeah, so you can see some tearing happening right there. So it gives you an idea of how, how this actually works. And let me put a little bit of compression in here and I'll add some more RGB glitch. And because it's all randomized, um, we just gotta play around with it. So there there it is. So let's let's play this little animation and see what we got. Doesn't that look pretty cool? It's pretty awesome, and like I said, you can do so many different things with this template. Uh, just changing a few things, just like the shape. So let's go like to the square here, and let me change the angle to 45%. And we can change the colors here. We'll change the divider color. We'll make it the same color as that purple. Let's see if I can match it there. And we'll make the secondary text, we'll make it white too. And let's change the fonts. Because the fonts will do a lot. Although I did like I like these fonts for some reason. Um, I don't know why I didn't use them earlier. And we can get rid of the divider actually. And that changes it a lot by itself. See, just having the divider or not gives you a different effect. It's really cool. Yeah, there you go. So just like that, you have a completely different uh, effect. And we can even turn the RGB glitch off. All you gotta do is uh, make it go to zero. And we'll play that and it's completely different. And there it is. So yeah, you have so many different variations here. I gave you guys so much flexibility. Like you can even, uh, as you saw earlier with the positioning, you can just adjust it like this to put it wherever you want. And if you want to do left and right, you can do that as well. And as you can see, the left is moved a little bit because I left it. So I need to go back up to the secondary position and take it back. 
And this will actually come in from the side. So there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can really do a lot with this. And we can even adjust the size to make it smaller and we can move the position more. So you can, you can really do a lot. I really hope you guys enjoy this template. I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. And if you like what you saw, don't forget that like button down below because you're awesome. And if you didn't like what you saw, you're awesome too. Just hit that dislike button twice because you didn't like it that much. And if this is your first time here and you wanna see more content from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell to be notified of future videos. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this template. I have way more templates planned. I have more behind the scenes, all kinds of awesome stuff. I can't wait to share with you guys this year. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Air now. Buy his thing because it's cool and he did work on it and it's it's cool and dumb, but it's really cool. It's not dumb. What? It's awesome. What does it do? It's a template. It's a template. Yeah, motion graphic template. What he said. It's awesome. <laughs> Buy it now. Subscribe to the template. <laughs>